Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on influence lines. In this beam, we are going to draw the influence lines for the movement in the point B that is MB. This is a non-prismatic beam that means there are different sections. For the span AB, the moment of inertia is 2I and for BC, it is I. In the point A, there is a hinged support. In the point B and C, there are roller supports. So, in the point A, B and C, we will have vertical supports. To draw the influence lines for MB, from the point B, we have to remove MB. And instead of MB, we have to apply unit movement. Then from the point B, we have to split the beam into two different assembly supported beams AB and BC. In the beam AB, let us keep the unit movement in the clockwise direction. And for the beam BC, let us keep it in the anti-clockwise direction. To find the influence line ordinate at x for MB, we have to use this formula delta x upon theta b. Delta x is the deflection at x. Theta b is the slope in the point B. To find both of these, we have to follow conjugate B method. First, we have to draw the bending moment diagram for the simply supported beams. First, let us take the beam AB. We know that in the simply supported end, there will be no movement. So, here it will be zero. This is also simply supported end, but still there is a unit movement. We can follow left hand side rule. The unit movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. In the point B, the movement is 1, and in the point A, the movement is 0. Using that, we can make this diagram and it is negative. Now let us take the beam BC. We can follow right hand side rule. In the point B, we have the unit movement. It is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. And in the point C, the movement is 0. So both of these two diagrams are same and they are triangular shaped. Now let us draw the conjugate beams. To get these two ordinates, we have to divide the moment by EI. Here the moment is 1, so 1 upon, and the moment of inertia is 2I. So instead of EI, we have to apply 2EI. Here the moment is 1, and the moment of inertia is I. So here it will be EI. Since 1 upon 2 EI is less than 1 upon EI, we have to keep this height smaller than this height. Since these two diagrams are negative, we have to keep uniformly varying load upwards. If UVL is acting upwards, the reactions should be downwards. We know that in the conjugate beam, the simply supported ends will remain as simply supported ends. That is why here I have given simply supported ends. Let us keep this point as A dash, these two points as a B dash, and this point as C dash. We need to find these four reactions. First, let us find the reactions in the beam A dash, B dash. To find RA dash, we have to take a moment about B dash. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA dash is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. The uniformly varying load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. For this load, we have to multiply the area of this triangle with the centroid distance. The area of the triangle formula is half into bh. Here, the breadth is 4 and the height is 1 upon 2 ei. 
the centroid distance about to b dash is 1 upon 3 into breadth here the breadth is 4 so 1 upon 3 into 4 for rea dash we will get 1 upon 3 ei we can apply this rule and to find rb1 dash rea dash and rb1 dash are acting downwards so both of them are negative the uvl is acting upwards so that it will be positive for the uvl we have to take the area that is half into 4 into 1 upon 2 ei for rb1 dash we will get 2 upon 3 ei now let us take the beam b dash c dash to find rb2 dash let us take a moment about to c dash rb2 dash is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 the uniformly varying load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive for this load we have to multiply the area with the centroid distance we know the formula to find the area half into bh here the breadth is 4 and the height is 1 upon ei so this is the area the centroid distance about this point is 2 upon 3 into breadth here the breadth is 4 so 2 upon 3 into 4 for rb2 dash we will get 4 upon 3 ei now let us apply this rule and find rc dash these two are acting downwards so both of them are negative the uvl is acting upwards so that it will be positive for the uvl we have to take the area for rc dash we will get 2 upon 3 ei now we are going to find the slope in the point b that is theta b we can find that from the conjugate beam theta b will be equal to the shear force in the point b dash when we take the point b dash there is only the vertical reaction rb dash so theta b is rb dash we need to add both of these when we add both of them for rb dash we will get 2 upon ei in the beam a dash b dash let us make a section like this at a distance of x from the point a dash we need to find this height for the distance of 4 meter the height is 1 upon 2 ei so for 4 it is 1 upon 2 ei i need the height at the distance of x so we have to multiply with the x in this way for this height we are getting x upon 8 ei now let us find the deflection delta x that is the moment in the section in the conjugate beam rea dash is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is x the uvl is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive for the uvl we have to multiply the area of this triangle with the centroid distance we know the formula to find the area half into bh here the breadth is x and height is x upon 8 ei so this is the area and the centroid distance about this point is 1 upon 3 into x finally we will get this we know the formula to find the ordinates at x for mb delta x upon theta b we have found both of them let us apply them we can take 2 upon ei inversely and then multiply then we can eliminate ei finally we will get this equation this equation is only applicable from the point a to the point b now in the beam b dash c dash let us make a section like this at a distance of x from the point c dash we have to find this height for a distance of 4 meter the height is 1 upon ei so for 4 it is 1 upon ei but we need the height at the distance of x so we have to multiply with the x finally we will get x upon 4 ei now let us find delta x that is the movement in the conjugate beam about this section here we have to follow left hand side rule clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive 
this reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is x. The UVL is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive. For the UVL, we have to multiply the area of this triangle with the centroid distance. This is the area and the centroid distance about this point is 1 upon 3 into x. After simplifying, we will get this. Now, in this formula, we can apply both of these so that we will get this equation. This equation is applicable from the point C to the point B. Using these two formulas, we can find the ordinates. Here I have drawn the influence line diagram for MB. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.